Hello folks and welcome back to Dark Necessities. This was a subject of a Patreon vote, won by this lovely lot. So we're going to crack on with it. Now in terms of tones, there's a fair bit going on. So we'll have a look at that in a sec. Neck pickup is what I am going for. Clean tone is this. You know, all that good stuff. Then you're going to need a wah pedal. I'm using the jam pedals wacko. A bit later on you'll need a little bit of dirt, I'm using the Tumnus just to add a little bit of edge. I'm also using a sparkle type reverb for that middle section which is... So just use a big reverb for that bit. And for the solo I'm using a chorus ensemble from Past Effects. with the Tumnus, so that's the two effects I'm using there. And for that stuttery part, I'm using the Chase Bliss Habit. Now, um, there's a demo coming for this soon. It's a tremendous pedal, but there's loads to it, so I'm still working my way through it. But for that... For that bit... Now, that's a lot of gear. At the bare minimum, you want a clean tone and a wah pedal, and you can pretty much play most of this, maybe with a little bit of gain, right? That will be enough. But I wanted to try and get as close as I possibly could, so that's what I'm using. Let's crack on with the first riff. Pretty straightforward. We've just got 16th notes on the 10th fret on the D string, okay? Then over the top of that comes this piano part. Which is just repeated over, or you could play it here. Whichever's comfiest. The next riff is just this. Pretty straightforward. Again, I've added a little bit of reverb there as well, just to the clean tone. That is a bit like. It's basically the same, same sort of rhythm, right? So, 10 and 8 on the 3rd string. Repeat that phrase again. Same rhythm, but this time you're going to do 8-8. Eight, eight. And then 11-10. And you leave that ringing out. You play that whole thing around twice, then the bass comes in. And the guitar's not playing anything. Then before we put the war on, we've got this cool little... Right, which is just the 10th fret on the G string. So again, what I'm doing there is I've got the habit turned on now, right? As soon as I press that note down, I immediately kill the pedal, but the trails will continue, right? There's a setting where you can enable the trails to continue. So that's how I've set that up. You need the wire on for the next part, which is... You've got that stuff going on, right? In terms of what I've tabbed, I've tabbed. We're all in the same string here. It's just eight to 10 on the D string. With that rhythm. But with some movie stuff on my wah wah pedal. It's not exactly like that all the way through. There's uh, some variations, so just, you know, get into it, basically. There is a fill, though, that you'll hear him play. Where he does a bit of a Jimi Hendrix thing, so you go... Right, you get 10th fret on the G, grace note slide, and then you go straight back down to the 8th fret. Okay. Like that. And then for the chorus part, you've basically got this. So that's the kind of melody he's playing in the first part. But you want to play a few more notes around that. So if you flatten your first finger on the eighth fret there, and then your third finger is on the tenth fret on the fourth string. And your little finger can tuck in there. Then you can play. And 
you can either play with your first finger on the 8th fret or this is what Josh does live he plays this um, C minor down here and then he goes to the B flat okay so that's basically all you need for the chorus then you've got this middle eight part and I'm just using uh, the tumnus for a little bit of dirt and the sparkle reverb to give you this play that around the first time the second time exactly the same but you finish on the 11th fret rather than the 13th so um, 11 10 13 11 half step bend shift your third finger down to the 11th fret and bend that up a full step and round again That's the end of that bit. Solo part's really cool and not too tricky either. The only tricky bit really is going from the back round, right? When you turn around to play it a second time because you're skipping across all the strings. But you're gonna start on the 11th fret and I've got my um, fingers aligned in their respective frets and you're gonna do 11, 10, eight. Okay. Two on each and then you've got this hammer on. hammer-ons apart from the last one I don't think they're slides but if you want to play slides and you can but to me they sound like that sound like hammer on so I'm gonna do it that way so let's slow that down you've got 10 to 12 on the G down two frets you play 10, down one string, down another string, down two frets, slide six to eight. And then your little fingers kind of neatly there for the 11th fret. And you're gonna play that around four times. Then coming out of that, same tone as being used, you're gonna go into this little riffage. play that around twice okay so the first part is just this so down down up down down up then the 10th fret hammer on 8 to 10 and then two eighth notes on the 10th fret at the end okay second bar is very similar it's just subtly different at the second half right so you're gonna play then you play an upstroke and you hit a downstroke on the eighth fret on the next string up with a hammer on like that okay and then those eighth notes at the end then you've got a full step bend bend and then you release and then hit it again and then so you just play five, so you're going to start on an upstroke. And then you got this part. Again. So C5. And then four. And then... Or you could play... 11, 10, 11 if you wanted. Probably easier to do that way actually. Then all the effects come off, it's just your clean tone again. And you're gonna play the same thing, but an octave above. So on the 10th fret on the fourth string now, and that goes like this. And 
then you're done. So that one more time. So the rhythm is. Okay, second time it's. Very subtle variation. And then the bend. Full step bend, that is. And again. And then the last time is just. Again, easier to play it there, but you could play. Entirely up to you. I hope you enjoyed that one. That's a lot of fun. And thank you very much indeed for voting over at Patreon. You lovely people. See you again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.